Hello everyone! Today we're going to be looking at what's in my emergency bag. This is good for when you have to leave the house and you don't have time to grab stuff that's all around it. So, let's start with my med kit. It has my name on it. I'm not sure if you can see it. It also has a rubber band. Okay. a box of medicines and it has labels to let you know what it is and what it does like Tylenol is for pain and fever and Benadryl is for allergy and we have lip balm for chapped lips sewing kit to sew things up could be useful and then we have fast itch and rash relief there is a scientific name that I can't pronounce, but it's cream that helps with your rashes. And here is the same thing. It's antibiotic ointment. It does the same thing, I think. Yeah, it does. And then, dental floss. And a thermo thermometer for te checking your temperature. Nail clippers and tweezers. Tweezers can help pull out splinters that you might get. These are hot hands. They're hand warmers and they're really helpful in cold weather to keep your hands warm. Okay. These are face shields for CPR rescue breathing. That was very scientific. And these are name tags, so you can look at the name and try and find, or try and bring me back to my parents. And here, I have a pocket knife for stabbing. And these are alcohol prep pads and also bandages for cleaning and bandaging wounds. These are water bottles, they're reusable, which is always good. These are, this is my toothbrush. Or this is a lighter. I'm not very good at starting lighters, so there's a fire starter. There are also candles and also matches. So those can all help. Here are more candles, and also these are gloves, and there's a battery in there. This is an emergency poncho for rain, and also if you wanted to hop in a lake, lake you could. I don't know why you'd want to. Trash bag, this can be used for shelter, you can use it as a roof. It could also be used for sleeping purposes, and can also be used for rain, just like the poncho. And these are masks, you know, they're always helpful, especially now. This is a personal protective set. It comes with gloves, mask, and hand sanitizer. These are hand sanitizer wipes. This is a normal bottle of hand sanitizer. And these are emoji branded. I didn't know emoji was a brand. Anyway, we have flashlights for lighting. We also have a lantern for the same purpose and a headlight. Next, spare set of clothes. This is jacket, shirt, pants, underwear. Oh my gosh, underwear! And socks in there. And then water for hydration and flavor packets for deliciousness. Here's another mask, but this time it's reusable, which, like I said before, is always helpful. And this is for fishing. You can use this for food, or you could fish up a pet fish if you wanted. Spare glasses in this case, very fashionable. 
this is kind of a bright light, kind of. It doesn't work, okay. This is a bandana, you know, it could be used for sweat and stuff, and also to cover up wounds if you really need to, to tie it around to stop bleeding and stuff. This is a hat, very functional and very comfortable. Eh, I wouldn't say comfortable, but it's functional. Playing cards for if the electricity goes out and we couldn't use our iPads anymore. This is what we do along with word searches and crossword puzzles. And these are emergency contacts, just in case. You're not going to see them, though. This is the marker for stuff. There's a sh sharpie in here for vandalism purposes. And this is a vest. It's bright so it helps people see you. And then they can use the name tags to get you back to where you need to go. And here is a whistle. So that's pretty great. It can be used to get people's attention. It could also maybe lead your family back to you if they hear the whistle. So that's very important. So, no, let me show you the bag that I actually store this stuff in. It has, I think, three pouches, maybe four, if you count this one. And fits me, or it doesn't, yeah, it fits me very well. And I weighed it, it's around eight pounds, and I weigh 88 pounds. And so, that is less than 15%, which is the recommended weight for your bags relative to your body weight. So that's all I have in the go bag. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications because we're going to be doing a lot more survival content. Okay, bye!